analyze things. Okay, the velocity of center of mass will put C, velocity of center of mass. So what is the velocity or V naught will write it, V naught equal to, what is that V naught? Earlier the rod was at rest. Just after impulse, it starts moving. So what is J is equal to J equal to MV naught. Then there'll be an angular impulse is set of no J into L by two. And, and about what point the rod will rotate about center of one because it's set free to rotate. It will rotate about its own center. So here will bring Omega naught. So then the equation will be J into L by two ML square by 12 omega naught. Substitute J here, mv naught L by 2, ml square by 2L, omega naught. So V naught is equal to L omega naught by 6. The relation between V naught and omega naught. Till here, no problem. The midpoint of the rod will move along a straight line. The instant axis of the distance of L by 6 from the midpoint. I think first option C and D will manage. Uh, the different points will have different velocity. So there is some point, P, I'll put it, I'm trying to search instantaneous center, which is at a distance, say like a X. <coughs> so what is the velocity of that point? The velocity of that point should be zero. So how velocity of that point will be zero? VP should be equal to V naught minus X omega naught. So V naught is the omega naught. Omega naught will be v naught 6 v naught by l so therefore x is equal to l by 6 so there's a point on a rod where at that instant its velocity will be zero so therefore point p is what instantaneous center if you go for option a and b first i think you'll invite big trouble if you first do c and d you'll be in better position that's for the very intelligently the options are also placed Instant center at that instant center means for that position. Afterwards, the orientation of rod will change. Uh, hope everyone is able to understand. Immediately, we are just doing at that instant. When the rod is what you are seeing in this position, then this point P is instant center. Hmm. Okay, now the radius of curvature curvature of A as seen from the ground is eight nine by L of point A. Okay, that is asking only point A. Uh, here, I, I, I myself, for one or two minutes, I should permit the students to analyze. Okay, I'll, I'll just pause the recording. Uh, no, anybody uh, got the idea what to do with? So now lo, let's do one thing. Anybody wants to share your idea? Sir, at point A, we'll write velocity. Oh, okay. What about acceleration? Sir, acceleration is uh, omega square r naught. Omega naught square r. What is r? Sir, r is L by 2. Huh, that's what. See, about, it is rotating about center of mass. Have, about center of mass, it will have only rotative motion. That one, it is rotating all the system. So from there, we'll get the centripetal acceleration and we know tangential velocity, total velocity, or shall I take only translation velocity or total velocity? There are one more issue. <coughs> I should go the total velocity, velocity of point A, then there'll be a centripetal acceleration. From that is what I should bring here. Or if you stand at point P, if you stand at point P, the whole, all points on a rod will appear to rotate about point P, no? I think where, where you had a problem of this one, I think if you go for a rolling body, there we asked about when it's having a pure rolling, the radius of curvature of various points. Hope you remember some three problems with it. The same idea is what I'm bringing here now. About its center, we'll calculate the acceleration. So acceleration, first velocity of point A. Uh, velocity of point A will calculate, then acceleration of point A. What is acceleration of point A should be equal to omega naught square into L by two. 
Omega naught, I think we should bring in terms of everything. Omega naught is six V naught by L whole square. This is L by two. Further V naught, what we can write? Uh, v naught, okay, let it be in terms of V naught only. This will 36, uh, this will be 36 by two, 18. 18 V naught square by L. This is the acceleration. Then what is the velocity of point? Velocity of point P should be equal to V naught plus L by two omega naught. L omega naught will be six V naught. This will be three V naught. Four V naught will come. So now I'll get into the radius of curvature. Acceleration of A, V A square by, let me write some row. This will become 18 V naught square by L. 9 by 8, or oh, sorry, 8 by 9. 8L by 9. Now please do remember uh, not only for rolling object, it I can ask you for any other thing. So have a have a look at once. We'll go to the next question. Uh, 